Hey everyone, so I just wanted to show you a wax moth. I had actually stacked all of my supers in the basement with the frames in them and they weren't properly ventilated. Um, it's a great environment for the wax moths to winter over and I was getting ready to start the bees on some more brood chambers. I peeked down there last week and I saw this. So that's a sure sign of wax moths. So I pulled everything out. We've been looking them over. I didn't find any actual moths, but this is the evidence of them. But I have found a couple of the wax moth larvae. Now, as soon as you expose them to light, they kind of try to scurry to the farthest uh, depth of the frame. So they're getting into the creases to where the foundation is. And you can see, um, like here on this frame, they have eaten away all this wax. So when I picked this up, I got a lot of wax droppings on my floor. So I'm doing this out in the garage and just watching. I'm not sure if the black spots are droppings or if they're um, like eggs, but they seem to be droppings. What I looked up on the internet about it. The eggs look quite different. So that is a wax moth larva, everyone. That sucker is fat. He's been feasting. I found a much smaller one and he scurried right away. There's a medium sized one in here. So I'll show you a proper frame storage in another video because we're going to have to get these all out and ah, see there's there's a big fat cocoon guy right right there so I don't know if they cocoon themselves and then do the moth development after that so I'm guessing so that is the wax moth mess you can treat this just by sticking the frames in the freezer I'm actually gonna pull the larva out and they're gonna get feasted on by the chickens because that's a good treatment for them and then these frames can just go in the freezer and that'll kill any larva um, that I didn't find or any eggs. There is not a medicated treatment for your hive for this. So this is the best way to resolve this. If it's really weak, um, you know, not an infestation, the bees will take care of this because these were in storage. I'm going to take care of it myself. There's no point in putting it in a new hive split or a hive that's developing. The queens are just starting to lay for the season. And the stressors of all this, I believe that these came out of the hive that had actually collapsed from getting robbed and having burrow mites. And I did remember seeing some wax moths there at the time. I just didn't think much of it. So, I have a mess to clean up, everyone. Good thing to do on a rainy day. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I ended up finding about six wax moth larvae. Um, this is just a small cluster. It's not as big as it looks, but um, this is a sherbet ice cream bowl. And we're going to take this out. Give this to the chickens. Uh, in 10 frames, there were about the six, well, nine frames, the six worms, and they were in about four or five of the frames. They do prefer the darker wax, so if it's your brood chamber frames, they were more apt to go after that. Um, I only found one in a lighter wax frame, and it was a bit smaller. I pulled apart the little cocoon and it was a larva in it. So if he was going to turn into a moth, he's not now. 
but you can see they're varying sizes. They have two dark ends, so you don't really know which end is which, but dinner for the chickens they'll be. Yuck, yuck.